today I'm gonna teach you how to make better instant ramen. You'll need an inter, um, inter an instant ramen packet, one egg hard boiled, one slice of raw meat related to the ramen. We'll be using beef, vegetable or olive oil, salt and pepper, nori, which is a type of seaweed and garlic and onion seasoning. Take your seasoning packet and open it up and dump it into a little bowl. Add your salt, pepper, and onion and garlic seasonings. Just a little bit at a time. Because you don't want to add too much flavor. If you add too much flavor, it will just taste like seasoning and not like ramen. So I want to make sure that you get that good balance. I don't have any exact measurements because I just do like a little sprinkle of each. So you should have about twice as much seasoning. Now you're going to take your piece of meat. You're going to pat it dry if it's like really, really wet, which this one was soaking in juices, so it was. Um, patting it dry helps the rub um, and makes it a lot less slimy when you're doing the rub. So sprinkle some of that rub on top of it. And of course, rub it into your slab of meat. Now you're going to cut your slab of meat into smaller bite-sized pieces. Um, you could also do this after um, you've cooked the meat. I'm doing it before because it's just a lot easier to cook smaller pieces of meat than it is to cook a large piece of meat. Now put a little bit of vegetable or olive oil in a frying pan. Wait for it to get nice and hot and then place your meat inside the pan. Um, it should sizzle when it hits the pan. Now we are doing our hard boiled eggs. So you're going to be sticking your eggs in the pot and setting your timer for 15 minutes. And you'll continue making your steak or whatever meat you are using while you're waiting on that. Um, you can add soy sauce or um, I used Worcestershire sauce, but that's because I was making steak. Um, I do suggest soy sauce though for a more authentic flavor. If you want to try and make your instant ramen as authentic as possible. But I, I, I like to put Worcestershire sauce in my steak. So, so you'll want to try and make sure that your meat is fully cooked. Um, honestly, if it's not beef, it needs to be fully cooked or there can be like, there is a higher chance of getting something wrong. <laughs> like, I'm sure you all know what salmonella is at this point, so. Now, this is my kettle that I keep my water in. Um, this is to make the instant ramen. I like to, I'm going to be doing the hot water boiling method. And then just putting the, uh, I just stuck the eggs in the freezer to make them cool faster. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pour the hot boiling water from the kettle over the ramen. And then we are going to cover the ramen with a plate. And it should be a glass plate. Don't do something soft, because if you do something soft, then it's going to melt the plate and not hold the heat. Now we're peeling the eggs. Um, remember that these should be hard boiled eggs. Um, a great way if they're still really hot is to run the egg under some cold water. And that should help with the heat from the hard boiled egg and then cutting it in half. That's a nice bright yellow color, which means we cooked it just in time. Now we're going to stick these pieces of egg inside the ramen. Um, first, we're going to add the meat though. So if you cooked a whole piece of meat, you aren't. if you're making this for two people, you do not need 
that that much um put like half of the remaining seasoning in there if unless you are making this full bowl for yourself by the way then go on ahead and add that whole packet of seasoning um, I only used half a pack for me, half a pack for my fiance, so they're two separate bowls. And then place your egg, and if you had nori or any other type of seaweed in there, that should be what you finish with. So I hope you guys will enjoy your slightly better instant ramen. Thank you so much everyone for watching, and I hope you all enjoy this recipe. Goodbye, everyone.